Howdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans Inc. And today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Jujika no Roken in chapter 103. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because of course this channel let alone this video are not sponsored. If you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our cash up and paypal links are in the description box below so well aruma went on his date uh last chapter and um it was okay but it ultimately resulted in a little bit of a birthday even though it wasn't aruma's birthday but it you know what and of course he got a cross and remember what the cross signifies the Jujika. But anyways, let's get to this chapter, see what's in store for us this week. Hmm? Who is it? Hello? Azuma-san? Huh? Is that Aruma's voice? I've remembered everything. aruma -kun? I love you. aruma -kun? And chapter 103 is titled, I won't let anyone. I love you too. Oh, of course it's a dream. It's a prophetic dream though. How much you want to bet? It was just a dream. Another call? Whose number is this calling at this hour? Yes? Hello? Is this Ozma san Huh? This voice? Is this a Rumikan? Yes. So what did I tell you? I didn't even look at this and I knew. Really? Uh, yes. It's just like my dream. Could it be uh, confessing like the dream? Is there something you wanted? Well... Oh, do you know a Shigoku Kyo? Um... I don't. I see. Sorry for bothering you. I wanted to ask you if there was anything you remembered. Um, talk to you later. Wait, oui, Arumakan. This is my house? Oh, shit. That's right. Remember, his house got burnt down. Yeah, someone set fire to your house, but you used to live here. You were three stops away from the high school. You weren't any club, um, in any clubs or anything like that. Was there nothing else? I need to kill those guys. You need to kill? <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Even after all that you told me, I still couldn't remember a thing. Rumakan, uh, oh, let's go. Just wait, just a little. Uh, what's wrong? Huh? Rumakan, isn't this a bit dangerous? Oh, does he from? Oh, here we go. It's pitch black. I'll turn on a light. Oh, it's Grandpa. What? Um, is this a uh, Gidiyama course? Yep, that day. It was that day. What are you doing? It was raining and there was thunder. Shun, what are you doing? Oh, he remembers. I remember everything. I won't let anyone take this revenge from me. I'll kill Shigoku. <gasps> he remembers everything now. The revenge restarts. Yes. All it took was going into Grandpa's room. Oh, yes, the revenge restarts. Yee. Holding Grandpa's gun triggered it. I am not mad at this. I am not mad. And that seeing that grandpa was for sure. Oh, God. Damn it, the Keo conspiracy. Keo conspiracy. Do, is it the Keo? Con That's a great question. Is it the Keo conspiracy in this? Did Keo know that, um, that Aruma would do all this? That's a legit question. It's a great question. Because Kyo could have just had everything burned down. He could have. He could have had all this shit burned down. But he didn't. There's a reason why it was kept up. 
everything was there for a reason. Everything's been done for a reason. I'm telling you, this is the Keo conspiracy. It is real. I swear, if Keo does not say that it was all going according to plan, I'm going to be fucking pissed. And also, we need to know what the fuck went down. We need to know what went down up in that, uh, up in jail. But God, this panel, these panels, or I should say these pages, where, um, uh, Keo, or not Keo, where, uh, Aruma remembers everything. I have to compare it to what we saw in Ron Konohashi, because we had something similar happen where Ron regains his memories. Well, I say it was as good as that one. Because oh, what Amana did there was... <clears throat> what Amana did in that uh, chapter of Ron Konohashi. By the way, if you are not reading Ron Konohashi, I don't understand why. That manga is amazing. Oh, this freaking page, though, with, uh, um, I would say this one, this right here, when, when you see Aruma holding the gun, and it says, I won't let it, um, anyone take, uh, this revenge from me, this is everything. I kind of wish that, um, we didn't see his eye and his hair, I wish that was all white. I think it would make it even more ethereal and it would make it pop more. Either that or like just, it, you could keep the hair black and just not have the eye show, just have uh, his silhouette there. I think that would just make it a little more ethereal and make it more, it just make it more effective because what it would do is just really um, give it more of that effect of he is just soaking everything in. Either that or kind of have the hair blow, have because uh, what Ron did, what Amana did with Ron was he had like, she, um, I think they had what, the hair blowing? If I remember correctly. Yeah, they had that like the hair kind of blowing up a little bit. And so you could, yeah, because it was, um, the angle was from the bottom, so you could see, like, Ron's facial expression. Yeah, if you're going to do a profile like this, you got to just have the silhouette and not have the eye showing. So that would make it more effective. I think that's the thing, that's what's bugging me. I kind of wish it was all white. I just have the silhouette. Because everything else here looks really good. Like Keo, look, oh god, like this whole thing with Keo, like in the in the string, mm, this like this thread of um of memory, oh I I really love it going. I love this uh, I love the thread, oh I love this thread, and then the bottom like the color palette. I'm gonna say this though, the color palette though, really brings it together because for the earlier memories you see how like light it is and then it like it um transitions into like the more recent memories prior to him going to jail and how darker it is Ooh, it looks so good and Keo especially oh my boy Keo looks so good this looks so good I really again I just wish that silhouette was I just wish it was just a silhouette. But also, look at the lines, too, for the panel. Um, how it's divided. How it went from, like, the clean lines to, like, uh, the uh, more jagged lines. I really like that. Because it went from, like, the, um, where everything was starting to become clear. And it was... If he says, I remember everything, he's like, it's a realization. And then he's like, and then he's starting to get angry because he's like, oh, these motherfuckers. I remember, I got to get my revenge on these bitches for everything that they've done to me. Oh, God, it's making me kind of think of, um, of, uh, uh, Kana Otamer with how Amiyu utilizes the entire page 
It's not, oh, but it's not as good as Amiu. No, 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 no. Amiu would have done something even more dramatic with this. Let's be real. But this is really nice, though. I love it. I love it. There's Grandpa. Oh. There's John. And then this, then it transitions back to this. And I'll kill Shigoku. This final page of this chapter looks so gorgeous. Ooh, I feel the rage. Oh God, especially at the bottom. Oh God, the bottom half of this page. Mm, it gives me everything. I love how detailed it looks. God, just looking at this really makes me wish that it was just a freaking silhouette in the previous page. I hate that it's not. Because it would have made this even more effective. But, yeah, I gotta point this out because it's gonna my ADHD go go wild if I don't. That right eye, though. Ooh, the eyes look really wonky. They are uneven. It really looks fucking weird. But I kind of wish there was more in the face. I know I'm being nitpicky, but I it's I've seen like more rage. Like I've seen really good rage, and it's almost there. There's just so, but that eye's just fucking driving me nuts. But. There's something else missing here that's driving me nuts. I think it's because of the jag that jaggedness that we saw in the previous page that looks so good. God, that eye. I can't. I can't with this eye. Oh my god. I think the other thing is, well, the other thing is, is that... I kind of have to compare it to Oshinoko with Aqua. I know the art style's different, but the way it was done, though, I kind of wish I had a little bit of that in here, too. But I'm really curious what you guys think, especially with the, how the art was executed. I'm really, really pleased. I know Kitty is, too. It just, little things could have made this even better. But I'm curious, especially as well, what you guys think about the Keo conspiracy in, in this. Do you guys... Yes, Keys. I know you think so. Do you guys think this is going all going according to Keo's plan? It really seems like it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Again Zinc. If you love what I'm doing, I'm going to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more... Uh, did you, um, did you get a work in content? A few ways you could do that. Donate to our Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wish list. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.